Today, we have an exciting story from our favorite Las Vegas-based reality show, Pawn Stars. Get ready for some ancient artifacts, mysterious happenings, and expert opinions. The first customer brings in a rare treasure, a page from the Gutenberg Bible, one of the earliest and most valuable printed books in history. The negotiations are intense, with the seller initially wanting $55,000, but Rick counters with $40,000. Will they strike a deal? As they haggle, the seller eventually comes down to $45,000, while Rick inches up to $47,000. It's a tense moment, with both parties trying to reach a fair agreement. The pawnbroker even jokes about his CFO getting mad at him for going so low. Will they shake hands at $47,000? Finally, the customer agrees to sell the Gutenberg Bible page for $47,000, knowing that it's a fair price given the expert's valuation. Rick quickly gets the paperwork in order and completes the transaction. Another customer walks in with a curious item, an ancient pottery duck from Colima, Mexico. The seller believes it possesses magical powers as strange occurrences have been happening around the house ever since they acquired it. They're asking for a whopping $4,000, but is it worth that much? Rick admires the craftsmanship and suspects it could be very old. However, given the prevalence of counterfeit artifacts, he decides to call in an expert to evaluate it. Will the expert's opinion match the seller's expectations? The expert confirms the duck is 2,000 years old and was used as a ceremonial item in ancient tombs. It would have been buried alongside an important individual to be eaten in the afterlife. Despite some repairs, the expert values the duck at $8,000. Will Rick agree to the seller's $4,000 asking price? After some negotiation, Rick and the seller agree on a price of $4,000 for the ancient pottery duck. Rick is thrilled to have such a unique and valuable item in his shop. A new customer brings in an exquisite Chinese bowl from the Chen Lung period. The pawnbroker is impressed but unsure of its authenticity, so he calls in another expert to evaluate it. Will this bowl turn out to be a hidden gem? The expert is mesmerized by the bowl's iridescence, which is achieved by grinding pearls into the glaze. However, he reveals that the bowl is not from the Chen Lung period, but rather from the subsequent Chia Qing dynasty. Regardless, he believes it is authentic and values it at $3,000. The seller originally asked for $4,000, but with the expert's valuation in mind, the pawnbroker offers $3,500. The seller isn't too eager to accept, but will they manage to reach a compromise? Rick makes a final offer of $3,800, and after some consideration, the seller accepts. It's a win-win for both parties, with the seller walking away with a fair price and the pawnbroker acquiring a beautiful piece of Chinese history. Now that these amazing items have found a new home, one can only wonder what their future holds. Will they be sold to collectors or perhaps find their way into a museum? Only time will tell. Until next time, stay curious.